All right, I got my Sir Liberty magazines that help show us how different we are from Sir Liberties or how we can change these around to make them more appropriate for educators. This is always one of my favorites uh, when they take some pictures of a body part and they say, whose are these? So this one says, whose abs are these? And I got some abs and you got to pick out the Sir Liberty. We can make these for educators. We could take pictures of hands and say, whose hands are these? We could have a picture of hands with curled up fingers. And we say, oh, that's the art teacher. She's always cutting things. Or some hands with some Play-Doh under the fingernails. There's a kindergarten teacher. That's her hands. I think that's a really good section. And I think it's just great. Um, we could change that around. Here's one that we all want is trends. Um, the, the clothing trends. We all want to look like the celebrities. So these are the spring trends we need to be trying out. Beige. We all want to wear beige. We look good. We look tan and that. I mean, here's another one that I just think is great. Tie-dye. I mean, who not love tie-dye? That was like the 80s and the 90s, but then we get a little crazy. Feathers, okay? Our educators, don't be wearing no feathers. Okay, we're not big bird. They'll be all over the school. Don't be wearing no feather clothes. And this is even worse. Look right here. Biker shorts. This is the new thing them Kardashians got on some biker shorts. Don't be wearing no biker shorts to school. Okay, it's bad enough we got leggings all over the place. And don't be showing your student teachers this. that They've they been thinking they're styling wearing them bicycle shorts. Drive me crazy. And look right here. Uh, th this is one of my favorite sections always, too. It's twinning. It's when they take t uh, pictures of celebrities and say, we're twinning. You know what this would look like if it was an Urgicator magazine? Oh, look, we got on LuLaRoe um, Disney at leggings. Let's take a picture. We're twinning. Or, hey, we got on the same uh, blue jean jumpers. Uh, we're twinning. Take a picture. That would have been in the 80s. I love the twinning. We got teachers that need to be twinning all the time. And look right here. It always talks about how they spend their money. This is a spending spree from a celebrity. It's Chris Helmsworth. He spent $5,000 on, on a surfing lesson for Kelly Slater to give him a surfing lesson. You know what spending splurge is for educators? A 12-pack of Fleur pins. Then things are expensive. Ooh, let's splurge and get some um, flour pins in all colors. Or um, the um, Scotch tape brand of Scotch tape rather than the dollar stores. Because you can pull it, it doesn't rip. That's a spinning spree for educators. Good Lord, $5,000 for a lesson. Here's one of the sections I always have too is uh, eating habits. This is healthy eating habits of the celebrities. This is some good ones. Play some good music. Write down what you eat. But this is the one that's cracking me up. Um, swap out some food. Smart food for unhealthy food. And then she suggests swapping out some kale chips for some potato chips. That's not a swap out to me. If you're going to swap out food for me, like, like give me some pizza instead of some spaghetti. Who in the world's going to eat them kale chips? That's kind of disgusting. And here's another one, too, that I think is funny. Um, this is another workout tips, and this is the trend in workout tips. Look right here. It's um, post-workout wipes. If you ain't got time for a shower, them celebrities are just using wipes and wiping themselves down. You know what? That's kind of disgusting. We ain't babies. You know what cleans your body? Water. If you ain't got time to shower, don't work out. And I'm not sure what you celebrities are doing that you ain't got time to shower. Good Lord, you're just sitting around watching TV all the time. I love these celebrity magazines.